plans over the development of human civilization and role of textile in india how textile emerged and improved to its modern say the machineries that prepare the fiber and to convert it into clothing they all are the constituent part of textile machinery and the study of textile let us talk how textile developed in human society and is born naked and between the nudity of his birth and death he wears clothes and that cloth in order to cover his tender body he adopted many means to cover himself that attempt to cover his body in order to protect his tender organs from extremes of the weather he created adopted many more types of dressing senses india a land where rain summer winter or nature's plenty an extreme of weather causes different needs different types of needs to human being in such a diversified situation different type of needs and needs for different types of dresses to cover human beings body is identified time and again and for that purpose different experiments have been done right from the advancement of hand needle and stitching machines gradually became so many experimental developments and these phases constituted the stitching advancement and stitching of fabric became the part of daily practice the sewing machine framed the daily part of human life and ultimately how to decorate how to make human body as the fine canvas and decorate it with different patterns and designs this development of sewing machine is solely responsible for it there are various advancement in the stages of sewing machine and how they performed to decorate human body cover the tender organs of human beings is no longer a story to tell rather it's part practical part of human life from charkha to handloom to advanced machinery it has been an extremely pleasant and developing story preparing patterns with the help of these machinery and advanced embroidery they also tell the remaining story
how such advancement came may it be jerry jardoji chicken and other advance meant in the embroidery the frame the pattern for and attractive designing part of human life how flower pet flowery patterns came into it being to decorate human body and then they beautified this canvas that is called man many more patterns and stitching such attractive patterns influenced here are a few examples of the same the attractive examples and patterns the are powerful enough to provide attractive themes then other things can add to the glory of human dress and its sense made be indo arabic patterns are typical indian designing they frame a wonderful story in that sense let us talk about how this is going to impact the indian market and indian scenario dressing sense is no longer just a sense that prevails this is how they add to the glory of human life these patterns and designing then they help to limaze in how this just to cover body from the extremity of the weather this came into great aesthetic sense and patterns help human being out and to decorate the body with different patterns childhood to the adolescent and growing towards the old age and even in the youth the colors they provide different sense of story these patterns on the fabric they they not only tell the uh, that just as a fabric they not only remain a fabric rather they tell the history of the whole civilization how the modernity and tradition was come founded into a holistic pattern and into the perfect whole this equilibrium this holistic approach made human being to think and to realize that was it just a man who was stony who was tribal or was he something else let us see how these patterns are changing human life and decorating human body these machineries and embroideries and the developmental phases they tell the holistic story in india textile is not just a beginning it is in a very advanced phase it has a very special approach it has a lot many things to tell the story of the developmental phases of human life here these machineries holistically they tell the developmental phase of the human story 
the machineries uh, lead to the advancement of multicolor garment development and they ultimately lead to teach a perfect team and prepare the perfect team to lead this textile sector and how do they constitute different style different patterns different designing and this button attaching pockets designing in the pockets and then other pockets of kurta pockets continuous pocket patterns they also make the dress trendy neck lines and experiments in the neck lines in different ways become narrated the story and its advancements then there came different types of cuffs and then they also perform their role these are the things that lead to the textile sector in india and they prepare the great foundation for further advance style is in a nutshell textile is not just a sense of dressing rather setting trends for body human body and making it presentable and making style this style and pattern they lead to the growth of the historical sense of dressing the nomadic man the nomadic man who started covering his body from the bark of the trees and then moving from there he came to the modern sense of dressing dressing sense this dressing sense not just remain a way of covering human body rather it became the whole concept from the days in beginning to the days of modernization man became projected and promoted in new avatars these various new avatars of human dress sensing and making it stylizing and making stylish the man dr johnson way back said style is the man and textile sector has done a lot in promoting all such concepts without the discussion without the discussion of indian sari the whole story remain incomplete any talk of indian sense of dressing will not be complete until and unless we are going to talk about this richest old trend of human dressing we back in pre independence era gandhi made textile the sentiment of india where the story of tricolor flag of india is not hidden by any one else even in post modern india indian government has decided to promote make it in india and this promotion of indian government and its approach to revive the textile and its new patterns and bringing it to the new heights 
is highly adorable highly admirable such pattern and such lifestyle and concentration and penetration of the government will definitely lead this sector to the new heights need not to say that india is now in the phase of revival and this is definitely going to change the nation into scale small but specific heights and materializing the high goals they will be from sm msme and other ministries they are promoting make in india startups are coming in this field and government's focus to promote particularly textile will lead to the creation of new job in this field gandhi ji led the battle of freedom and this mohandas karamchand gandhi's battle started from charkha is now ready to scale new heights in the area of textile while talking about the beautifications and new avenues creations in the field of textile is not a distant story definitely it is going to create new roads works of and laboratories are now rejuvenated they are dedicating their services to this field to scale the heights and drop the new chapter of textile industries advancement in the textile machinery in a indian scenario are stories to follow and tapna advancement are definitely leading to create new history of human the developmental patterns can be seen and observed of manufacturing yarn from fiber how they are beginning from this pattern to this pattern gradually moving into this and then they come into final shape this process of geotech mobitech protech agrotech indotech and then other patterns like circuit boards construction textile medical textile sport and recreation fabric they all are revolutionizing human history they see how process manufacturing yarn from fiber bell opener mixing blow room carding breaker draw frame lap former finisher drop frame combing roving frame and ring frame rotated air jet and then winding this is how things are step by step followed prepared and then come to the stage of maturity is things to be studied analyzed promoted worked upon and challenges are many so many things are to be studied 
trained and then promoted many institutions are working in this field with great dedication and that's why probably the rich heritage of indian textile is protected and promoted nurtured up to the level to scale the himalayan heights very recently government of india declared special package of incentives to create 1 crore additional job in coming 3 years in textile and apparel sector this decision of prime minister of the nation was well received and welcome this is how we are going to have new story we are fresh investment of over 7400 crores will revamp the story of the textile sector where the government is planning and targeting additional exports of 2.02 lakh crore and out of all the jobs 70% are to be given to the women such developments will definitely lead to the fulfillment of the mission of institutions who are working ceaselessly for the creation of center of excellence for learning and research in engineering and technology especially such institutions who frame the backbone of textile sector will be benefited they will came as the four players and front players to lead textile sector from the front approach should be holistic and it should be constructional so that the nation should be enriched by the outcome of the efforts of researchers in this field gd birla ji established a great textile institute in year 1943 the dits the technological institute of textile and sciences that came into being in 1943 when the great twin of industries led sri gd birla ji thought of establishing a textile educational institution in this region ever since its inception this institute has defy the storm and of evils his philanthropic vision of excellence and fostering scientific and technical acumen among its student in particular and in the society in general we believe in the philosophy of come here to learn and go for to so from pre independence to post independence from 20th to 21st century the tit continues the legacy many such institution came forward and the union government of india's decision was well received by such organizations who are landmark in the field of textiles and they are having a legacy to nurture legacy to foster and legacy to inherit and leave able to leave legacy to be inherited by the 
austerity. In the core textile branches, the ITS Bhivani started offering government decision of India was welcomed warmly by the textile sector of Haryana, even all over India. The Textile Association of Haryana that dedicated its services and particularly Bhivani committed to foster the talents and nurture them to come out to serve the nation. Such establishments are definitely going to be a very constructive role in the field of textile and revamping this sector on the progressive track. The need is to identify, the need is to penetrate deep enough to do constructive effort, the need is to do constructive effort to materialize the dreams that can change the nation. For India, textile is not just a fabric making industry. It is the sentiment of India. Textile is the sentiment of India. And by doing so, government of India, by to taking steps to promote textile, government of India definitely touch the soul of the nation by creating job in this field and creating opportunities for the youth to work and excel. The government is definitely going to create a pool of talent that will bring glory and excellence to this sector. The role of textile ministry 